Hello, my name is Nico Rondé. Some of you have seen me before in one of the other chapters of this show, Real versus Virtual. I'm the uh, chief instructor for the Sim Raceway Performance Driving Center here at Sonoma Raceway and uh, also the head of the physics department in the simulator Sim Raceway. Today was the day where we tested the Formula SAE 2011 car. It's really interesting to see how these young aspiring engineers are already still so creative and really finding ways, designing some beautiful pieces. They have their own set of rules but it's pretty cool to see. It's a fantastic program and it, I'm really excited to actually partner up with Tim Cow Berkeley. This is a Formula SA car which uh, we represent uh, UC Berkeley Formula SA team and our title sponsorship Sim Raceway has provided us with a professional race car driver to help tune and set up our car. B11, our 2011 car, is a 600cc a Jigster 600. Um, it produces about 80 horsepower with weighing in at 506 pounds. Some of the things that are really interesting is first of all, I mean, how compact the car is. It's like, you know, it's like an oversized go-kart, but it felt much, much bigger than a go-kart when we were on the, on the track. We actually went faster than most go-karts will go. It was quite interesting, but some of the details, it's a hand clutch, just like in the go-kart as you go, because they use a motorcycle engine. That was different also for simplicity, because they're also concerned about weight, which is the right frame of mind for this kind of competition. They designed it with a left-hand shifter. The last time I drove a left-hand shifted car, Formula car, was in the UK, in Formula First. It's the only series ever in the world to use that. Right here in the back, you see, they put the design of the shocks right on top, laterally mounted on top, but these are pods to measure suspension travel. They have a pretty extensive data acquisition system on this car, which is really interesting. This is banned in a lot of race series. They're running it in Formula ACE. Cool, look at those pieces. Look at that, that uh, rocker arm right here. Super thin, really good work to get the strength that they need, but really weak. When I look at those pieces, I understand why they were worried when I was driving a little bit hard and going over some of the curbs as they go. But they did the math, they should, they should rely on their work, it's strong enough, it's going to go. So what we want to get out of today is the feedback from the driver for setting it up and being able to put that input into the sim game. Sim Raceway is going to have our car in the game which we'll be able to practice with. Um, seat time is by far the most important thing at competition and Sim Raceway is provided with us with a seat time here as well as in a video game which is going to be amazing for us. Away from second to third to fourth, going to fifth just before the start finish line, getting ready to go downshift to second. So, three downshift under the compression of the brakes. The car actually was bottoming out a little bit in the front end and going up to third and to fourth again. Brake third, a lazy shift to second because they were a little too fast going into tic tac toe and the car was a little bit nervous. Very positive to change directions in that uh, Formula SE. Back up to third and fourth. Stretching force, a couple of laps I went to fifth where it wasn't better, it was better to ride rev limiter down to second again for Laguna using the camber. You've got to be very precise to use the camber for Laguna. Then through the memo S is almost flat, a little bit of understeer, up to fourth, down back to second again for uh, Kramer. Third, back up to fourth, short, short throw in fourth, down to second again for Monaco, slowest spot on the racetrack. And up to third, up to fourth, the kink, flat, up to fifth down three gears, down to second again, using the last turn, which is so important to carry the speed out of it because you're leading into the longest straightaway and way all the way back up to fifth.
Okay, that's 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 pretty good. I mean, your time it, was spot on. It was yeah, fifty-five two. Tenths two. Of, it was like fifty-five four over yeah, there, yeah. and yeah, we know the engine wasn't quite optimum, so it's spot on. I think the the changes on the tires that we just mm. did really made it. Now I'm really struggling with the same same grip level that I was in the real car. Um, the gearing is spot on. The braking is good. It was a little too powerful before. It's good now, and the feel, the feel of the car, mm. yeah, it's good. I mean, it's so having a professional race car driver uh, in our car, which Shim Raceways provided us, uh, has given us such amazing feedback into suspension handling. Um, he has he set up our car, um, given us great feedback on the way the car turns in or oversteers or has understeer, um, and has directly correlated our our 2011 car to our 2012 car, um, which is going to be huge for us at competition.